It's Sunday on The Breakfast Club, and it is again time for some serious talk. Now, I've been a science fiction fan since I was a kid, and I tend to like the older shows uh, compared to the newer ones. I, I like the original Trek series to the later stuff. Um, I like the older Battles of Galactica to the newer stuff. Um, I like Babylon 5 um, and pretty much everything else. I like the old Star Wars to the new. And, you know, one of the big things for me is that the older stories could not rely on their big budgets and flashy sound, flashy images and sounds, uh, and a lot of action. And they had to be story driven, particularly on Star Trek. Uh, people, you know, will make fun of the, the low production values now, uh, but, you know, back in the 60s, that was, you know, uh, pretty good stuff for the time for television. Uh, so it's easy to to just look at that and, and, and really not see how much deeper those stories were. Uh, you know, it had its turkeys too, but there's some really good stuff there. And and while the newer Trek, Next Gen, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Enterprise, uh, you know, there there was there's some good stuff there as well, but there's just way too much reliance on, you know, a Deus Ex Machina. They, there's, they, the stories go from being character driven to technology driven. Um, and, and, you know, as many explosions and flashy lights as, as possible. Um, and it seems that that's kind of indicative of what's going on. You know, I'm just thinking about other television, you know, reading about some of the contrivances that are on some of the, uh, uh, home shows, some of the f home flipping shows, you know, these people that, uh, that, you know, tear down houses and rebuild them and so forth. And how much of those shows, you know, because they have a formula they have to follow, and if the facts don't fit the formula, they'll they'll make modifications to the truth. <laughs> um, even uh, you know the the restaurant makeover show is the same thing. Uh, I was actually part of me. You can see actually see me in an episode of Kitchen Nightmares, and while you know no one was told what to say, you know the audience was somebody who was invited. You know you actually had to apply to be there. I actually got in because I was a guest of the owner of the store, but uh, generally speaking, you know, this is still a contrived uh, circumstance. Um, you know, it's it's real, but not entirely real. And it just feels like that's where we've gone, you know, in our society as a whole. It's not just television. Television and movies are just a reflection of, of, of the society who watches them. And so, um, you know, you look at tele how much on television are are so-called reality shows and how much of it is just fake and made up or contrived, you know, uh, these cooking competition shows. I used to watch those a lot, but, you know, how often do you have to cook where someone says you have to get all your ingredients in three minutes or, or else you're stuck, you know, trying to trying to uh, cook with whatever you can you know, pull off a shelf in three minutes? You know, it's a, still a contrived circumstance. And, you know, kind of makes me think of, you know, with Trump's pending uh, inauguration, it's basically where America is. You know, we've gotten so uh, mollified by uh, fake reality uh, that we've gone and elected a fake, you know, reality television star uh, to be the president. And he clearly has no idea how the government actually runs. He has no idea what he's doing. Um, I'm not hopeful for the future. And, uh, you know, really, I, I, it, it, I wonder, this is even kind of worse in a way than Rome. You know, Rome uh, ended in, in a lot of bickering and internal strife, and, and we certainly have all of that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's the true bread and circuses. You know, this is, you know, people have been, been uh, bought off. And even when we talk about politics, a lot of our focus tends to be on the less substantive, more, you know, emotional, glitzy uh, uh, stuff. You know, I think about, you know, Trump's thing now with the, uh, you know, the, the BuzzFeed story about, you know, PP gate, whatever you want to call it. And ultimately, you know, if even if it's true, it's fairly inconsequential as far as what's actually going on. Um, it, you know, it's funny to laugh at, sure. But, you know, my, my concern about Trump isn't whether or not he... It, you know, had some women pee on a bed or whether he did it to, you know, because of the way he feels like Obama, which is kind of 
unbalanced and unsettling. But, you know, while this is all going on, while we're focused on the superficial, you know, the safety net is being dismantled uh, in very short order. Um, and, you know, what's happening on the left, you know, we're bickering amongst one, one another. And there's some reasonable areas of difference, but a lot of it is really, again, BuzzFeed, uh, clickbait driven, where people just read the title and, and don't really look in deeper to see what's really going on. So, you know, we, we, you know, we amp up and we yell and scream at each other um, based on pretty much nothing. You know, it's almost all fake news anymore. Uh, there's real news out there, but no one cares. No one really pays attention to that because we're we're busy watching all the superficial stuff. And uh, you know, I think that's ultimately going to be our demise. Um, I don't know how to change it, you know, but uh, and I don't know if it can be changed. But um, you know, it's a shame. Uh, there's so much promise there, and I think the thing that bothers me the most is is that it's not even the will of the of the people you know but the problem is the people are too busy and too lazy you know too busy uh distracting themselves with uh bright lights and uh big big sounds big explosions uh and pp gate and and you know uh you know he called her this and you know, he made fun of that person um that's none of that stuff really matters in the end of the day but uh you know, uh, the safety net going away, it's going to impact a lot of people and uh, including relatives of mine. And, and I'll probably get that into that in another video. But, uh, if you have any thoughts, uh, if you agree, disagree, let me know in the comments and, uh, see you next time.